Okay. I had a real bad night last night. <clears throat> Moving the dogs around into their new pens was more than they could deal with. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. They did not like that. The uh, pen that I bought, uh, I tried to buy a tarp for it, a cover for it. And uh, they didn't have one. <clears throat> so I was going to order one online. In the meantime, that big dog pen doesn't have a roof over it. I moved the three girls in there and, and their big dog house, which all three girls do fit in that big dog house. It's a big dog house. Plenty of room for the three of them. Anyhow, I put the three girl or the two girls and uh, Mercury rather in there. And Pluto I isolated him into his own pen because I don't want him breeding the two girls. Uh, I want him breeding Miss Lily and uh, hello Miss Lily. And I don't want him breeding the other uh, two girls, so I had to isolate him into his own pen. <clears throat> well, needless to say, he and uh, Mercury and Rose were just uh, barking and barking and barking all night long. So the whole idea was to give them more room so that they would have more space and not be barking so early in the morning. And instead, they just barked all night long. I had to keep getting them up in the middle of the night and shushing them and shushing them. Finally, I took the one large dog crate that I'm not using right now. And I took it, whoop, 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 red light. There we go. And I took it and I uh, put it inside the garage now that uh, the garage is getting vacated. And I put um, who I thought was barking. And who I thought was barking was uh, Sunflower and Mercury. Put Sunflower and Mercury in the crate inside the garage. Figuring, there you go. Now I can get a good night's sleep and no problem. And we're not bothering the dogs with bark or the neighbors with barking. <clears throat> go back in the bedroom, take the clothes off, lay down, head hits the pillow. Bark, 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 bark. So apparently, Sunshine or um, Rose and Pluto didn't like being alone in their cages. <clears throat> and on top of that, now it is pouring down rain. I mean, pouring rain. Two inches of standing water on the ground. Okay. Um, both dog pens in standing water. Nothing I can do about a big storm like that coming through, guys. You know, I got this morning, it was all gone. All the water was gone. And, and as you can see, it is raining right now. So, but when I left the house there, uh, the ground, it wasn't dry, but it wasn't standing water, so. <clears throat> so what I'm doing, what I done did, as you can see in the back of the truck, I bought three more dog crates. Nice metal ones, nice metal ones. 36 inch. I got three uh, dog crates. Now the crate that Lily sleeps in in the house, her crate, that she's had for a long time, is a 36 inch crate. And she's perfectly comfortable in there. In fact, she will jump in there and sleep at night without me even telling her she had to do that. She, she feels nice and safe and secure in there. It's a nice little nest for her. So I bought three dog crates. All of them 36 inch. Two doors, door to the front, door on the side, nice metal ones. I'm gonna set those up in the garage. And tonight, 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 I'm gonna lock up the dogs tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, I'm sleep deprived, okay? I was up almost all most of the night last night. So tonight, when it gets dark, I'm gonna put all four dogs in the garage inside dog crates. And then finally, for the first time since I've had the pups, I can sleep in. They can bark all they want inside the garage. They won't bother anybody. Oh. <clears throat> and I can have a little peace of mind. 
Uh, this morning they're not happy with me. They didn't get to go out and go for their run this morning like they do every morning and every evening. But uh, I've decided, you know what? I was sufficiently teed off last night by their behavior, refusing to be quiet no matter how many times I asked them to be quiet. <clears throat> Completely ignoring that, you know, digital high frequency stop bark stop device. Just completely ignoring it. it. I might as well just take it down, throw it in the garbage for all it's doing. Um, anyhow, tonight they're going to go inside the uh, inside the, the garage. They're going to be in there in a crate. They can bark all they want. They won't disturb anybody. <clears throat> I can get some sleep, and the neighbors won't have a reason to call up and complain and say, "There's a barking dog barking his full head off all night." Because that is what they would do. I'm, actually, I'm surprised none of them have done that yet. I really am surprised that none of them have done that yet. So, we'll see. So, I went to Rural King today because they had the best price on uh, the crates. Again, good enough price that was worthwhile driving all the way over Circleville than going to uh, uh, Rural, or, uh, tra um, Tractor Supply, which is right near me. I'm, I'm like a mile and a half, two miles from a tractor supply. <clears throat> Instead, I drive a 35, 40 mile round trip to go to Rural King because the prices are just that much better. About $10 a piece cheaper on the dog crate. So there's $30 I saved. And I bought some, some bolts so I can finish putting the roof on the dog pen. I figured rather than start going in reverse and taking down the brackets, um, that I've already installed I could use the brackets that I have left just by going to a longer bolt so I bought some bolts so you know hey instead of uh, instead of raising the bridge I'm lowering the water so, and that'll work just absolutely fine it'll work just absolutely fine I'll just leave a little extra bolt up there Only temporary. I might make some changes to it. Can't pull it down this way anymore because of this. Guess I could pull it up and wrap it around there a little bit. Go back to the other pan, but we'll see next time. Next time we'll do that. 
No! Come on. Come on, you. Oh gosh, look at the mess in there. And no gloves. Great. It's got to get washed. Alrighty then. We had an incredible rain yesterday. I mean, the yard's dried out nicely now, but there was two inches of water everywhere. All right, kids, so made some big changes here in the dog pen. We used to keep them in this little pen. We all knew that was way too small for them. At the time, that's all we could afford. Now, I've moved three of them, Mercury, Sunflower, and Rose, now live in this pen, which is fine for the three of them. And the small pen is now just for Pluto. Yeah, <clears throat> the first night was night before yesterday and they didn't like it. They, the big changes was difficult for them to deal with. So, now that Doug has vacated the garage, we have a new setup in here where we have all the dockers. Ow, oh, get, get, I just mopped the floor. Get, get, get. Anyhow, and we now the dog crates in here. So at night, oh yes, who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Get down. Get down. Who's a good dog? Huh? Get down, Pluto. <laughs> no, Rose, you can't eat it. Pluto down. So it looks like the balance of the duck eggs are going to be leaving today, which is awesome. You know, I just hatched them out a few days ago, not even a week, and sold out the whole, the whole hatch. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. Hatch them, sell them, hatch them, sell them. Turn over that cash. I ended up with 24 ducklings, sold all 24 of them. Five bucks a piece. Now I'm selling them too cheap. I'm gonna raise my price. If I'm gonna sell that fast, I'm selling them too cheap. I'm gonna raise them up to $7. That's a big jump. But that's what they're getting at the hatcheries. You call up any of the hatcheries, Rowan ducks are seven bucks. And on top of that, you gotta pay shipping. You go to the local tractor supply or, or those places, $7.99. So I'm still a dollar cheaper than them. And that's saying something. So why not? <clears throat> so next batch, I'm going to raise the price, see how those sell. Maybe I have to lower it. Maybe I have to raise it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But duck sales are going along beautifully. Uh, soap. I got soap available, guys. If you guys want some really good soap, I've got mango. Um... Oh, cucumber melon. I have cucumber melon scent. I have mango scent and I have unscented. Hey kids, Grandpa here. I am thrilled to bring out a great healthy product like my own goat milk soap. Designed and manufactured from the safest and finest ingredients I could find, my soaps contain olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and of course goat's milk. Goat's milk soap will not dry out your skin like many other soaps. This is important in keeping skin naturally moisturized to keep it healthy. Prices and ordering information are in the description down below. Thanks for trying Grandpa's Farms Goat Milk Soaps. Remember, 100% money back guarantee. And then I've got a bunch of batches I'm going to start making this coming week. Uh, so there's plenty of goat, uh, goat milk soap. Awesome goat milk soap. If you guys want some really good for your skin. Very moisturizing. A lot of people with uh, skin irritations use it. Uh, leaves you feeling nice and silky smooth and, and soft. And 
it's just wonderful. Frankly, it's just wonderful. No chemicals. Uh, the only, the only, you know, chemically kind of thing that we use is a, uh, is a food grade lye to uh, saponify. You need that to saponify the fat. You can't have soap without it. Um, you can't make soap without lye. Um, so we use a food grade lye, the same stuff they use for making pretzels. So it's food safe. Um, but yeah, my, my goat milk soap, goat milk, olive oil, sweet almond oil, um, coconut, coconut oil. And I'm missing one. Olive oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil. I'm tired, kids. I'm tired. Palm oil. Palm oil. That's it. That's the whole recipe. All good, wholesome stuff. Good for your skin. So, if you want some goat milk soap, check it out. We have good pricing on it, too. Really, really good pricing. A lot cheaper than you could buy it online or other places. And uh, built-in shipping uh, for anywhere up to one one to four bars. Shipping is seven bucks. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.